Hey everyone, thanks for joining me again tonight. It has been a long time since I have done any Saber reviews or videos. Uh, I apologize for that, a lot of stuff going on. But um, I kind of wanted to show off this new install that I did recently. It's these two Graflexes, uh, a new Hope style. These are birthday presents for my niece and my nephew. I asked them a while back what their, you know, who their favorite Star Wars character was, or if they could only have one lightsaber, which one would it be? And the, uh, they both picked uh, Luke's from A New Hope. So um, during the May 4th sale back in 2022, I ended up buying a, a couple of hilts, a couple of Graflexes. I think these are the Graflex Supremes, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, chassis are goth chassis that I got printed from KR Sabres. I think it's like one of their eco chassis. Uh, they each are sporting a Profi 2.2 board. Um, don't ask me what operating system it is. I feel like that up, that's updated all the time. Uh, it's definitely, it could be six. I'm not really sure. But um, it's pretty much all identical inside. So I'm kind of just going to show off one of the chassis. Um, and then I'll put a blade in the other one, kind of light that up a little bit. This is also even like a little bit of like an, uh, an instructional video for them. So they kind of know what, know what to do. Um, okay, so I'm actually going to, change the video around a little bit so we're going to get like a little more of like a top-down angle so you can see that um, and then i'll do my little review um the the corbanth hilt when they come they're still coming in the old 89 savers boxes but it does come with pretty much all the parts that you need to put these things together it comes with both the a new hope style um pieces all the accessories and then also here are the uh Empire Strikes Back. So you do get both if you need them. Because the the Rise of Skywalker Graflex is a little different, that is a completely separate purchase. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna change the video angle and then we'll be right back. Okay, a little bit more of a familiar viewpoint right now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna take one of these guys and uh, we're gonna open this one up a little bit. So here is the New Hope style. All right, nice little bubble strip. Um, underneath here, I put a little bit of silver tape, um, foil tape right underneath. This is vented for sound. The one critique that I have is just how wide open this gap is. You know, if you're choosing The Empire Strikes Back, right, and you got the the cobalt clip in here, that's going to cover that, that marking. But when you have it in the New Hope, style uh, this you know big ugly cut still there um i would like to see that changed in the future iterations of this i don't know how they can do that but to me like it's just um i don't know it kind of just sticks out a little bit if you're if that's what you're going for if you're going for the new hope and you don't want that cobalt clip there then then what do you do um so one of the last graph flexes i had well i had i have a couple of vintages that i've put together uh and did FX sabers with, and then I actually gutted them and put the original parts back in. Um, I have a core, I have an old Corbanth uh, 2.1 that I put together and recently just upgraded to a Profi. The grips on that, the grips on the the 2.1 are definitely like a much harder plastic. So if you have one, you know what I'm talking about. These definitely feel more like a like a rubber, like a harder rubber. It's um, they're definitely softer. These grips compared to what I've been used to in the past. Um, they do have that nice, um, that double style stick. So I'm just gonna take one of these guys out here, to show this off a little bit. So this is one of the Empire Strikes Back ones. So you can see the little rivets actually just put in there. Um, these little red strips, you just peel that off, stick it on. Uh, I do recommend using a grip guide. There are a ton of them out there now. Um, back when you first started doing these a few years back, there no one had them. Um, I, oh God, I forget who created one back on the um, the Graflex support group page on uh, Facebook. I remember someone created it, and then from there, kind of just took off. But um, those things are fantastic. They you know, obviously they make them for the Empire Strikes Back, the New Hope. I'm sure they even make it for the Rise of Skywalker Graflex. But um, this is a little bit. I don't want to say softer because I feel like that's just not really the right word. But like this rubber, it's a. It feels like it's just a little bit easier than that hard plastic that that uh, you used to have. The finish on this is pretty nice. The finish on the the clamp 
it, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit more dull than, I think, the vintage than what I would expect. But, um, I mean, that's probably maybe like my biggest critique with the clamp. Because the, the clamp almost looks like it's a different color, you can look here, than the lever. I almost feel like the lever is actually correct in the coloring, and the coloring of this is is off. But it could it could just be me. Um, I remember on the the two point ones the the curl the S right the shape of the the shape of the S here was like really off. I'm not an expert on the ground flex, so there are a ton of videos out there that kind of go over the the different uh, inaccuracies of all these ground flexes that have come out, especially these FX ones. Um, I can't remember the last ones like you know who put out who puts out the best replica if it's uh, if it's Roman. I know KR has done a run, of course the Graflex shop and their you know inconsistency with shipping. Um, I did have one of those back in the day and then I sold it off because I just I didn't need it. But um, like I know there's so many different companies out there now that make these Graflexes, but uh, just for you know simplicity and just for the value you know the, the amount that I was paying for it to get two of these, uh, you know I, I ended up going with with core bands. So. Inside, let's open her up a little bit. Okay, stick that bad boy there. So like I said, we got the Profi 2.2 in here, uh, 28 millimeter base speaker. This uh, really nice 3D printed chassis, like I said, from Goth uh, that I was able to purchase through uh, KR, uh, which is nice. See, they've got a whole selection there of a whole bunch of different like eco chassis if you wanted them to print them out and ship them out. So I was able to purchase them from there. Um, the install itself was pretty simple. You know, for people who have done Graflexes before, or if you if you haven't, it's it's a good beginner saber. It really is. The one nice thing with this is that there is a there's a really nice helper board in here for the switch that goes here, okay? So that red little helper board already has the, the, the momentary switch soldered on, and then there's two solder points um, just underneath, just around this guy right here. And then underneath that, so there's this inner, the inner core that's in here, that it's a, a inner removable core, that when you take all the pieces off, you take the pins out, you take all the pieces off here, this thing will will come out. Um, there's a great you know channel uh, wire channel guide for these wires to come down through here, and then there's the slide switch, okay, which is which is hooked up to another momentary switch, and there's actually two connectors very conveniently located that you can solder and um, wire up, and then wire everything through the in inner core until you get to the chassis itself. Uh, and then the chassis is uh, secured in uh, into the core using a set screw. And then in here we have a NeoPixel. This is um, oh my! Now that name will come back to me soon. Um, this is a, well, a NeoPixel connector that I picked up off of Saber Bay. And they got pretty good products over there. Grab the battery. This is actually one of the first times I've actually done this is a removable battery. Uh, typically all the, the setups that I've done before are uh, wired and connected with a recharge port and everything. Um, I have never done a removable battery with the tabs in here. So that was fun to kind of do that. Uh, you got, of course, our little toggle switch, a little kill switch in here. And yeah, I mean, other than that, like like I said, not a bit. So the lip here, so this actually comes off. This this black lip, it's actually attached. There's two tiny tiny screws on the inside in here that um, that you take out. I think with like an Allen with a small Allen wrench, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, um, and I guess that's I don't I, I'm guessing that's why they. I'm guessing that they use that to just replicate what's actually there. But this lip, the, in a vintage, it really it really kind of comes out a little bit more than this. This is almost like flush with um, flush with the Graflex shell itself in here. 
So, eh. But again, like this is for my niece and my nephew, so they really don't care about accuracy. They <clears throat> they just want the thing to light up and, and sound cool. So I'm I'm not worried about that. But uh, I mean, other than that, like I said, it was this these two. I got each one done in like I don't know four or five hours. I was able to install each one. It it, it didn't take that long. Um, uh, plenty of room for all your wiring to get through. I have them labeled and of course I had to label which way the batteries go because I'm like I have no idea if these guys are going to do it incorrectly or not but I did not want to screw that up I told them do not fry your board although I don't know if the new settings now the new the new boards have those um, have it protected or not if you put it in the, the the opposite way but I'm not testing that theory I'm just telling them that it has to go in this way all right so um, with that I'm actually going to turn one of these guys on uh, this is a one inch the old 2.1s were a, those old cores that came with that were a, a 7 8 inch uh, core. These are a 1 inch core, which uh, is, is nice again for them. So I'm going to show that off the set screw here. Okay. This guy, when it's all the way in, it does protrude and go all the way through inside, inside the emitter here, inside the blade holder. So... I do not have blade plugs yet. So the two blade plugs I actually just ordered from KR are supposed to be arriving any day to kind of finish it off. And then these things are completely done. And then I can finally give it back to them. But I'm holding on to them because I told them I wanted to make a little video for them. Uh, and then they get these back. So let's get this guy turned on. Nice little NeoPixel blade in here. Stoke connectors. There we go. I could not remember that for a little bit, guys. That's how long it's been. I haven't done a video in a long time. You forget the name of things. Yeah, so I did that. Put the Stoke connectors in. These are the V3s, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. I'm just going to hit the lights really quick, guys, so this way we can get a really good view of what everything looks like all colored up. Uh, give me one second. All right, so perfect coloring. And I, and I think my niece and my nephew were really amazed with how slow I was able to turn it, and you still hear the whirring sounds. Okay. So, you know, guys, that's pretty much it with the Graphlexes. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, there have been hundreds of videos on Graphlex installs. So, like, I'm not going to go into too much depth and detail about this. Um, however, if you are thinking about doing something, if it is going to be one of your your first attempts at doing an install, the Graphlex is a is a pretty easy one to do. It really is. This, it was uh, the 2.1 was my first install. That's how I kind of got into all this. Um, it was nice going back to one. I haven't done one in a really long time. Um, and just banging them out two in a row was actually uh, quite easy at this point in time. But, um, you know, I highly recommend just kind of watching a ton of videos. Um, just follow it step by step. Go on the forums. Go on the Facebook pages, the help pages. There's a lot out there in the Saber community. You'll be able to kind of get a little step by step on how to get, get started on all this. But... Um, but overall, I thought this was a, uh, a fairly simple install. They're still, these are, are pretty pretty decent hilts. Um, obviously not 100% accurate, but again, like I said, you know, my audience for this, they don't care about accuracy. They just want to see that it lights up. They want to be able to swing it around. They want to be able to hit, hit each other with them, I'm sure. But, um, you know, overall, I kind of want to just give them a little, little idea on how to turn this thing on, how to use it. Uh, I installed all the sound fonts. Um, a lot of sound fonts on here are from, I think, Kyberphonic, I think. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, they're all set to different ones, too. Like, the one I just turned on was set to, I think it was set to Ray from, I think that's a Force Awakens one. I think that was, like, I, don't know, I think my niece, like, 
wants that one. Uh, and then Luke, my nephew's name is actually Luke. And he wants it set to the A New Hope one. So, yeah, overall, lots of fun. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd be glad to answer them. So what do I have on the horizon? Uh, my other nephew, he said that his favorite character was uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he wanted the one from Revenge of the Sith. So I have an Obi-3, a Corbanth Obi-3 that's also being worked on right now. I am just about done with that install. I'm just finishing up the switches and just have to wire everything to the board, and everything is done there. Uh, next is I have the um, Clone Wars uh, Ahsokas from SP Sabres. I actually did an initial review of those when I got them. I hated how the video came out and I just never recorded it again. So I'm actually just gonna do, when I do the install, I'll do my review then uh, and everyone gets to see it. Um, I wanna review the Rescuer from Anakin Starkiller, and I'm going to put that out in a little bit. And I also want to show off my uh, the DS2, the DS squared. V2 is all finished. I had that back from Hallowax a while ago, and uh, I have not gotten around to show that off yet, but it is a beauty, and I that deserves a review. So I will definitely put that out. Um, I hope you guys, will, you guys will definitely see me again soon. I'm sorry it's been so long, a lot going on personally, that I haven't had a chance to really do some of these um, in a while, but uh, I'm glad I'm able to put these out, and uh, hopefully you should get a few more from me real soon. Okay, take care, guys.